Good evening, friends. Dick Riculus here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. Today, we're going to talk about another product. We're going to have Big D test and prove if it's true, if it's false, if it's right, if it's wrong, if the manufacturer's leading you down a path of destruction, if they're just plain out lying to you, lying to you, lying to you. We are here and we're going to report it because that's what we do. Dick Riculus here, WBIGD TV. When I came across this Cuspid Car Audio AM2200 on eBay for 25 bucks, it reminded me of the copies of the Phoenix Gold M series amplifiers. You can see here this thump amplifier I tested before looks like the M series as well. I think a lot of people like these in the 90s. So let's get on to this Cuspid 2200 model. See, this thing was brand new in the box, and it does say 240 watts all over the box. And uh, yeah, high performance amplifier, all that type stuff. Let's get into it and see. This box was never opened before. It was brand new. Did have the manual in there as well. Not a whole lot in the manual. Just shows you how to hook the amp up. Amp is in there upside down. We pull it out. <laughs> here you can see one of the little feet here was bent. That's very odd because the box wasn't bent or anything. So it's like it had to be been up like that before it was put in the box so strange but you can see the design definitely made in china not high quality here by any means it does look unique though it's, it would be a kind of a cool wall hanger including the box of course is the speaker level adapter here for i'm sorry the speaker output adapter we'll show that later when we get it connected up the owner's manual which covers three different models and yeah here is a flyover of the AM2200 by High Sound. It actually looks really cool. Definitely very 90s in the look. Here is the power ground and remote. Absolutely the smallest I've ever seen on any quote unquote amplifier. There you can see the speaker level Molex on the left. You see the left and right RCAs. There's a gain control, treble and bass controls as well as a power LED in addition to the power ground and remote outputs. Let's get it connected up and talk about it. Here we have the Cuspid 240 watt amplifier. Have it wired up. You can see here's a speaker harness. Have it going in, connecting up to my 12 gauge wires going to the dyno. Have the RCAs coming here from the DH80PRS head unit. And we have these massive power ground remote. It's really the only time I've ever seen an amp that has the power wire and the remote the same size. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's uh, fire up the dyno and try it out. Before we do that, let's talk about the ratings, 120 watts times 2 max, but the maximum current draw is 5 amps. So you know we got to do some big dummy math here. 5 amps times 14 volts is 70 watts. Then we take efficiency about 60%. We can say, yeah, we probably can get about 42 watts out of this. <laughs> I've literally not turned it on yet, so fire in the hole. Here we go. We have red LED. Guess that means we're good to go. I'm not sure why we're wasting the energy to do this, but we're going to do it anyway for the sake of fun. Let's fire up the good old SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno. On the left side, you'll notice the power output. In the middle, the ohm load. On the right, the voltage of the dyno. We're not going to measure efficiency on the clamp today. First up, we're going to try four ohms. It's rated 120 watts by two max. Let's see what we get. Certified 1% THD. Yeah, 14 watts. Oh, it made me a liar. 15 and 14 watts, right at 14.44. Can't get any closer than that to the rated voltage. Uncertified up to clipping. We get 15 watts per channel at 14.44. This is some exciting stuff, friends. You know this amplifier is bad to the bone because I know that y'all are so excited about this test. <laughs> Dynamic 15 watts per channel. Smoking. Now let's go ahead and load this bad boy down. 2.6 ohms. See what we can get. Rated 120 watts by two max. Let's try certified 2.67 ohms. What do we get? Oh, 18, oop, 19 and 18 watts. Getting close to 40. Now let's try uncertified up to clipping. 
19 and 18 at clipping 2.67 ohms, 14.42. Now the dynamic test. One kilohertz dynamic frequency going into the amp. What can we get? Almost. We got 49 watts total, 14.46. Based on that performance, I'm more interested to see how much wasted space is inside this amp. I can't even tell that it's been on. It's got a huge heat sink. With that power output, it um, yeah, it does not need a heat sink that large. But let's uh, get it disconnected, and then we'll check it out and see what the guts look like. All right, we're seeing this together for the first time. I haven't opened the amp up yet, so here we go. You ready? Three, two, one, whoa. Ah, crap, that's the bottom. Well, there you can see that is literally the amp. That's the chip. It's the TA8210A8. That is the head unit amplifier. I wonder if there's a different way to get inside of this so we can see anything else. I'll see what I can figure out. And of course, going through the extra effort of taking off the additional screws, we will reach the internals of this monstrous amplifier. There you can see the guts and all its glory. 2200 microfarad, 16 volt cap in there and some smaller ones and pretty much some straight wiring going to the speakers. Now, Sure, you're going to ask, do it bump dough? <laughs> Not a chance. An amp like this needs some funky pups. Unfortunately, we didn't have any funky pups available at the time of this show. So let's get funky like a monkey. Now, we did find some footage online of this amp powering the subwoofer, and guess what? Out <laughs> of uh, all the jobs I could pick, I don't want to go to work where I have to do this nonsense all the time. Listen, I don't know what that guy's complaining about. This is lots of fun. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Cuspid 2200. You can fake it like a boss. Has bass and treble adjustments to turn up all the distortion that you'd want. Envy of all your friends with this awesome looking app. 240 unicorn watts. No extra electrical required. Probably run off of your cigarette lighter. New old school amp for 25 bucks are still available at the time of this video. Cons or things to consider? Nothing. It's perfect. The best amplifier you could ever get right here on this channel. Dick Rickless approved. There you have it. The test of the Cuspid AM2200. Brand new old school amplifier. Copy of the Phoenix Gold. I don't even know what to say other than you better get one before they go out of stock because these things are going to be hot one day. They're going to be collector's items. Till next time, this is Big D. I'm out of here. Yeah. Y'all know I couldn't leave you hanging without showing the two ohm test. Let's see what we get here. Ah, oh, we did get that 40 watts, 20 watts per channel certified to 1% distortion. What about uncertified to clipping? Can we actually beat 20 watts? Barely. 20 and 21. Now let's try dynamic. Send that pulse tone into the amp. We're making this whole amp flex. 21 watts per channel, big power. You know how them sound waves go? I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Put a system, I don't want to be a slave. I've been doing shit my way. 